Welcome back to learning how to play Crusader Kings 3 and we're sitting here in Georgia the duchy not the kingdom the kingdom is held by someone else which well eventually we hope to change but for the moment we'll have to go piecemeal on those that surround us bottoms up nothing calms me quite as efficiently as a full glass of byzantine cypriot after a hard day, after a good day, after any day, I have found solace in the bottom of the cup. Bring me another, we can become a drunkard. Uh, but I think we're stronger than this. Who wants to be a drunkard if they get a choice? So, no thank you for that uh, opportunity, shall we call it. You have a lot of allies. Do you still have your crazy strong allies? Yes. We're not gonna do anything here. Uh, but we might want to look into shoring up our own alliances to prevent them from absolutely destroying us when the time comes. Let's see. Is there anyone we can try and get an alliance out of? City, city. No, that's not good enough. Pressing B, by the way, gets you back in the previous window that you had just selected. Are you pregnant? No? I'm, I'm starting like those parents. I'm like, why are you pregnant? When are you going to get pregnant? Get pregnant. Why are you not having the sex? All right. Our son obviously is not going to get his wife pregnant anytime soon. She is only 15 years older than him, but we got him, uh, her, to uh, press a claim on the Armenian principalities, or rather to press claims on the things that are part of that. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see eventually. We get some, we get some more Casas Belli options, so we could go south, grow a little bit around here. Do we have something sensible? No. No. All right. We're in a very good position, I would say, because we only have one heir who is a lot younger than us. So once we get to the point of dying, we will have a good long reign in his name. So that's pretty amazing. So no splitting of the realm and a lot of bright future. Plus he's becoming a bit of a thinker and this leads to a very rounded expertise here, it appears to me. He might not become a great soldier, but that will eventually come with a lifetime supported by all the really, really good books we have hanging around here uh some of which we actually should repair and we while we're at it yes let's get more promising prospects that's not bad do we want gallant eventually yes do we want this mm, it's not bad these aren't bad, but let's just keep going here. We still want to do a marriage or so. What's going on here? I am attending a dance in Ganja to spend some time with Princess Lustiana. Uh, Justiana. The mere thought of touching hands makes my heart jump. This is our wife we're talking about, by the way. But when I arrive, I find her stuck in a conversation with my vassal, Mayo Margarit. The obnoxious woman drones on and on, totally oblivious to Justiania's discomfort. I will take her to a better place, better that I suffer than her. So we get kindness on seducing or romancing our wife, but we also get chronic headaches, which isn't ideal. Um, we can spend some prestige to get this. And I think we'll do that. I don't want chronic headaches, thank you. That sounds unacceptable. All right, all this is pretty good. 
We might want to go for another artifact, quite honestly, because they're very powerful. So let's get us some armor going. And we need a new antiquarian, I see. Maybe that's what happened. Someone died earlier. I don't know who. Uh, Saba Gud. She's average at this. Uh, what? Okay, if we kick her out, then she's gonna hate us for it. That's fine. And now we can commission an artifact. We couldn't before, anyway. So, 100 gold because of our rank, mainly. And we want armor. We are a warrior. We don't need a crown. We, we fight. That's what we want to do. All right. So, let's hire a local artisan. You will not regret supporting me, my lord. My beneficiary, Humat assures me she will create a masterpiece, but also that my input is valued. Please tell me what type of armor do you desire? Flexible chainmail. Not very flashy, but dependable. Dependable scale armor is what I need. A sturdy lamella armor. It doesn't really matter. I think we're gonna go with I trust your judgment. You, you are the artist, you are the artisan. You know what this will be about. Okay. We've got some friendly exchanges facilitated by our wife. So we're a little bit more friendly here. Why do you hate us so? It's, I think, the greedy and humble issue here. Cultural acceptance. Uh, and because we're descriptivists, we, we, we tend to explain everything a little bit too much. Fine. Let's enjoy the music a little bit. All right. Inspiration, a vassal to remember. <laughs> Count Taniel and Mayor Vahan are among the most powerful vassals in my realm. I never know how to keep them happy, so they don't go around stirring up trouble. Perhaps flattery is the way to go. Anyone would be pleased to have something made in their name, wouldn't they? And I have just the right thing in the making. I should let my beneficiary, who am to know that I'm dedicating her masterpiece to my trustworthy vassals and advisors. Then again, it is my artifact, so maybe I should just... Dedications are overrated. We are humble. After all, not wide to myself. No, to Taniel and Vahan. I mean, they're good boys. They're good boys. Taniel and Vahan. To them it goes. Oh boy. Okay. Right. Kazaria has just declared war on us for the county of De Brent. And uh, literally nothing we can do. They are way, 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 way stronger than us. Way stronger than us. Even if we got all our allies in this, which we could. They have, let's check this out. They have an army comprising mostly of horses. Oh, actually, not so many horses. Mainly levies. Hmm. I did build up a bunch of pike. But it's just the overwhelming force, honestly. So what if we surrender? Um, he gains the contested title, so we lose this. But honestly, I don't I don't really see a way out of that. That this can fight us a little bit. We're gonna lose anyway. Might as well fight it. But we might lose more people there. Okay. Uh let's get let's get our allies in here. As I said, it doesn't cost us anything to do that. And we'll raise our own army here. And we'll go fight them in the mountains up there. 
Hopefully that's where they're gonna come along. And we'll just have to see. Okay, we're losing a bunch of money here because we upgraded our mana at arms. But after the first few battles, that's gonna go down, I tell you. Once we lose a bunch of people. Oh, okay. The enemy comes already. We could make a stand in the hills. Uh, we are getting crushed. Absolutely obliterated. Even with all that if... Yeah, we're done. <laughs> okay. Um, in this battle phase here, at the end we can flee. So we're going to order a retreat here. Once we get to that battle phase. Let's slow this down so we get a better idea of the battle phases. We are definitely getting crushed because they have so many more troops. Um, there's no way for us to win this at the current junction. Uh, let's see. Inspiration, creative freedom. As a keeper of the prince's personal collection, I'm responsible to ensure the quality of your work. You will see it once it's finished, she says. You should leave a woman to her work and when she is making lamella armor fit for royalty. Um, okay. We don't want her to lose opinion of us. So... We'll... 60% the armor will be better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She will help. Everyone hates me anyway. Doesn't matter. Plus we might die in this battle. Alright, so... We're in the early battle phase and we're waiting for the early retreat to actually get our troops out of there. Uh, which we didn't get a chance to. We were just crushed. Absolutely destroyed. Yeah, no wonder. Okay, but let's have a real quick look here on what our knights did. They killed 209 troops uh, without losing any. And if you check on what the other troops did, that's amazing. That's a lot. So he will have he will have to split his troops a little bit in some ways. And we'll just have to wait and see if we can't find an opportunity to strike back in some way. Maybe at least try and get a white, white uh, piece out of it. I don't think so. We'll wait for our allies to arrive to regain some of our strength. We are no longer losing money at the very least. And maybe we have a chance. But as I said... With those overwhelming forces, we don't have the technological advantage to make a dent into that. My pet is in danger. I'm a saver. All right. Um, yeah. Someone is climbing up her tower window. We have the time. We're just losing a big worm against the Khazars. All right. What's going on here? What? It worked out. The sounds from the struggle above is the greatest motivator I've ever known. Without care for life or limb, I hoist myself through Princess Luciania's window. I feel as if I've plunged into a frozen lake. Luciania is on the floor, the intruder pushing her down, a gleaming blade between them. With a roar, I grab the villain by the collar and throw him into the wall. The rest is a blur. When the dagger is over, no, the danger is over, not the dagger. I turn towards sir. Luciana, are you all right? I ask cautiously. As if my words were a spell, she finally unfreezes and throws herself into my arms. Thank God you're here, the hack. I will never let you get in harm's way again. So she becomes our soulmate. Fantastic. We actually managed it. Our wife has become our soulmate. That's good. That's very good. So our allies are a little bit confused as to what to do. Because, well, my troops are in weird spots. If we go attack, we have a chance. If we don't attack, we don't have a chance. It's, it's basic math, I tell you. 
We're of course making ourselves a little bit weaker by fighting this because all the troops we lose now we have to regenerate. But what can we do? Alright, boyos, everyone follow me into certain death. They will probably pull all their forces south to reinforce this battle here. Though already we barely have a chance to defeat just this one army. So even if they don't... Yep, there we go. That's it. We are definitely going to lose this battle again, even with our allies here. But there's always a little chance. A little chance we make it. All right. Our boy, should he be arrogant? No. No, he shouldn't be. Uh, he must care for the poor. All right, we have been imprisoned. Which is, as you might imagine, bad. Quite bad. So we will surrender. There's really nothing we can do. And we have been released from prison at least. So that's nice. At least we got that going for us. Um, we can't even swear fealty to them. Because we're of a different faith. Could try and learn their language. Let's see. Definitely disband our troops. Uh, yeah, that took a bunch out of us. That hurt. That hurt significantly. <laughs> All right, very good. My lord, my beneficiary, whom art waves me over to a covered armored stand. She's trying hard to keep a professional demeanor, but I can see the fire in her eyes as she tells me her work is done. With a flourish, she rips the fabric covering away and my eyes are grow wider. The armor is contracted from hardened leather plates that are finely bound together with cords of wool cloth, while the trim and the lining are cut from fine wool. The set includes a nasal helmet, a male coif padded with wool. The whole armor has been covered, no, carved with thin lines to enhance the look of the material. It is magnificent, we think. So now we have this and we'll find it. There it is. Araranshaik Lamela Armor, giving us one prowess, some prestige, and defender advantage. It's not ideal, it's not great, but it's definitely better than nothing. So we lost the steward somewhere along the way here. Maybe, maybe in battle, I don't know. Sometimes they just die. Let's put her there. She has been waiting for it. She has, she's deserving. Did I see that right? No. He endorses us. So for a second I thought our bishop doesn't endorse us. We could swear fealty here. But right now we are not sharing a border with the Khazars anymore. So they are less of a threat to us. They might attack the Kingdom of Georgia. They might attack the Yazidi Emirate. All fine by us. We are going to go look south a little bit more. See what we can do here. But, as you can tell, all of these have really good alliances. Not him. But, yeah. We'll have to wait and see a little bit. Bide our time. We lost a bit here. A, a bit. That is what I meant to say. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Our court physician has become a novice physician. Good girl. Our dear daughter. Doing her very bestestest. Let's call a hunt. We're very stressed. A lot of things have happened, and understandably so. We are put off a little bit. Eventually, this will crumble. Eventually, we'll get our revenge. Sometimes, you just have to take the loss. Um, no, we will bring down the majestic heart that grazes across the landscape. 
our dude does not get to take that away from us. We're struggling here. We just lost land against people on horses. How it's unimaginable. We're reinvigorated. Very good. All good things going on here. Now this stings, obviously, but it wasn't the ideal bit for us to have anyway. It's uh, you know, it's, it's whatever. It's uh, it's fine. We can we don't need this bit of land. It's not like we did a lot to get it in the past. Nope. No, no. That's just fine. Just fine. Right, we'll see what happens next. Ah, yes. Uh, why is this not happening? Oh. He just died as we clicked on it to see. Uh, we could resume our studies and we'll try and learn from Gagan Manashesh. He has a beautiful accent. His uh, successor, I believe. Yes. Very good. Oh, now we could uh, swear fealty to them. Might we? No. No. I, I am constantly drawn to that, but there's always the chance that they just revoke your titles. And then you're a little bit stuck. So that's not, not quite ideal. But they are. Yeah, they are yeah, all sorts of powerful out here. The horse lords. Not him. He's weaker than his father, but... Or, I don't know how they actually were related. Were you? Was this your father? Yes. Oh. Uh, did the Khan just change? No, the Khan went to war. That's what's going on. And you're fighting who? Who? What? What war is this? Is this for Kirch? Um, oh boy. Okay. They are... They are waging a holy war against them. Are, are you attacking? You are... A no, defending. They are being attacked, not attacking. Well, I mean... Alright. The Viking warriors here in Kerch. Leading by example. Good thing we didn't give this to our son to hold. Very good thing. Very good thing we put him there. Between all the Christian rulers. Well, for, former... Uh, foremost. Foremost Christian rulers. Not all, but some. You are weak. Oh, he has lost his big ally. Oh no, what a... What a terrible, terrible shame that is. Ah, this is just such a problem, isn't it? But we have to be careful, we can't take too much here, else we get enough to get a claim on this duchy. And that might create a new duchy, and ah, that's just all sorts of impractical for us. So for the moment, we'll stay where we are. See if we can't learn their mongrel language. But such is the nature of Crusader Kings. You win some, you lose some. And we're not one of the major powers, but we're also not a super minor power. If you look at uh, these major European powers, how strong they are and comparatively to us, we're not even that bad. We're not that bad. Though I would love to get some more here, honestly. Scheme and call my spa master has come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know, someone is plotting to kill my knight. That's suboptimal. Uh, a great granddaughter. Give her a nice name. Make her. I don't know. Steward. And can we get an alliance? Nope. We cannot. So it doesn't really matter anymore. What wars can we declare against you? Not that we would or actually win, but we could go for this little piece here. 
the county of Cartley. Do we actually have a pressed claim here? No. So this would not be inherited unless pressed in war. We still have a few years of life ahead of us, so... We'll see. We'll see. Nothing to do right now. I'd rather wait. Because I'm expecting her to be embroiled in a war eventually again. And I'd rather strike her while she's already occupied in some way. Oh, new perk. Loyalty and respect. Spouse opinion plus 50. We could have used that before. Uh, skills from spouse consular task. That's great. Peacemaker. Yeah, okay. Not not a bad trick. My culture has joined the medieval area. New uh, innovations are available. So if we look here, we can go there. So we have most of the things here. Well, not most of them, but some. And, well, we'll see what our head of culture does. For today, I think that is it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. If you have questions, down in the comments. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. See you around next time. Until then, bye-bye.